What's good everybody, my name is Nista here, and uh, so this video is gonna be a little bit different than usual. So, something that is just absolutely just bizarre as hell happened to your boy uh, a little bit earlier today. By the time that you're watching this, it was maybe like a day or two ago, but as of right now that I'm recording this, it was like an hour, hour and a half ago. Your boy got into a whole ass argument with a skinhead. <laughs> You know, so let's take a little chill for a little bit, you know, let's just relax, tell a little story. I got this nice little animatic that you're looking at right now. Very clean, very nice, very Gucci fam. So I was picking up my significant other from work uh, so that we can go and have lunch together, right? Which, you know, pretty cool, pretty wholesome, right? Just your average Tuesday. And we are pulling out of the parking lot of the place that they work at, right? And so I am turning right. I'm in the right lane. I got my turn signal on the whole bit. There is this busted ass car uh, going straight and they're in the straight lane. So what happens is as I am pulling up to the little intersection area uh, while I'm getting ready to turn, the fucking jackass, without any type of motion signal or anything, just cuts over and turns right in the straight lane, and I almost nail him because of it, right? So I honk at him. As I honk at them, right, in the passenger seat, I see this, like, bony, disgusting, it looked like a witch's hand, uh, just kind of wave me off, you know? I didn't really know what the actual intention of the wave was. I didn't know if that was like, a, eh, fuck you, don't look at us, oh, whatever, go oh, shut up. Or if it was like, a, oh shit, my bad. He is now in the left lane, and I am now in the middle. So I'm going straight, and as I pass him, I give him a fucking finger. Because the guy literally just almost fucked my whole shit up. So as I give him the finger, I am now like six cars ahead of him, and I'm stopped at a red. And then I look in the fucking side mirror, and I see this busted ass car now coming towards us. And I was like, oh shit. And so we're stopped at this red and the fucking guy comes right up behind me and opens his door. And I was like, oh my God, this guy's gonna fucking yell at me from his car. I was like, dude, this is gonna be funnier than hell. And so I kind of like half rolled my window up. I don't know why I didn't go all the way with it, but like I wanted to hear what he said. So I just kind of cracked it a little, it was like three quarters up. I look at the mirror again, homie is getting out of the car. I went, oh my fuck. So as he's walking over, he goes, yeah, bitch. Yeah, you roll that fucking window up. And I said, oh my God, this is happening. <laughs> So the guy comes up to my fucking window, right? And this guy's vocabulary literally is just swears. Like, I know that I swear a lot, but I just do it for, like, comedic effect. Like, fucking day! You know, like, shit like that. But he straight up was just like, motherfucking bitch, you stupid ass little bitch, motherfucking bitch, little stupid bitch. Like, he, he, he's, he was talking like that. Dude, my heart was going at, like, 100 miles an hour, dude. And it was just, like, I was trying so hard not to laugh because the guy literally was like a fucking cartoon character bro like he wasn't real like <laughs> he goes who the fuck you think you're flipping off word for word i looked at him and said you for not turning in the right lane and so i give him that actual good comeback and then he just kind of like glitches out for a second and then he hits me with this fucking insult bro the guy looks at me and goes you look like someone who votes for biden and i just looked at him and i was like what i was like i was like what made you, what makes you think that i was like <laughs> i was like what about me comes off as like biden voter like like i get you know sure all right maybe i am fucking shit what i mean to be honest whatever this guy is the enemy of i'm with it <laughs> so the guy said that i look like a biden voter and that meant that I was in the wrong and that I'm stupid and all this shit, right? Which I just thought was fucking hilarious. As I'm sitting there trying not to piss myself from just sheer laughter and just adrenaline, the guy is just sitting there doing rapid fire, just random nonsensical, just name calling insult, right? And then this is the part where I, oh my God, I was like, I didn't even know what to think after he said this next bit, right? And I'm gonna, I'm not exaggerating anything. Everything that I tell you, I swore on my life is a thousand percent true. This is what the guy said word for fucking word, okay? He leaned down, right? Got like eye level, cause he's like a foot in the air, cause he was on like a curb, and was like, I'm in an organization, kid. All right, it's called the Ku Klux Klan. You ever heard of it? I'm the top dog of the KKK. I, I didn't even know what kind of face I made, but I felt such like disbelief and smug at the same time because it was just the funniest fucking thing that I have ever been a part of and like during the whole I didn't like laugh at his face because I was really scared that he would like punch out my fucking window or something like that so I just kind of like put my hand over my mouth and just kind of looked at him like game like a side eye I couldn't believe what the fuck this man was genuinely saying so the guy is like yeah I'm a fucking KKK member and so that should make me feel intimidated I guess I didn't understand that at all. I am a white, blonde hair, blue eye Aryan. <laughs> I don't understand why the fuck a KKK threat would get to me. I didn't understand that at all. And what my significant other was thinking about, okay, it was like, you know, maybe like, it's just the fact that he's in a group. 
he's in a group that does bad shit, you know, kind of like a gang. And I was like, maybe, but specifically that, I was just like, why the fuck do I care? Because, oh, then I'd be in danger. Like, I'm not, I'm clearly not in any fucking trouble here, dude. We're at a packed-ass intersection, bright-ass day, literally a Tuesday fucking morning. You do anything to me, every person, their mom is gonna see this shit. I was so filled with adrenaline, but I wasn't actually scared. I was more scared for my window than my actual person itself. This red light is long as shit, by the way, because I caught it literally as it turned red, which is bullshit. So we're still sitting there. He's still fucking outside of my car, just going nuts. And one of his insults, I didn't even process this until like after the fact. The significant other is the one who actually was like, remember when he said this? And I was like, he did? Because I was so overcome with the adrenaline that I just didn't fucking process it, right? But what he said was, I'm gonna get my wife out here to beat your ass. And like, in the moment, I didn't see anything about that. I didn't like, think that that was funny or I thought it was just another threat. So in the moment, I was probably just like, yeah, okay, whatever. But looking back on it, I'm just like, you're gonna get your wife to fight me? Like, what the fuck? You can't do it? <laughs> it was so bizarre. And it was just like, the amount of shit that he said in just such a short amount of time, like the guy said like four quotes in like, it had to be like 60 seconds or less. Like, it was fucking insane. In the two minute time span that he almost caused an accident and I flipped him off because of it, he said that I look like a person who would vote for Biden. He said that he would get his wife to beat my ass because he can't do it for whatever reason. And then tells me that he is the leader of the Ku Klux Klan. What in the fucking shit? Like, I can't imagine how you can make yourself look more like a bitch than those three things together. Like, I, I don't understand that. First of all, you have your wife fighting for you. That alone makes you look like a cuck. You're telling a white person that you are a member of the Ku Klux Klan as a intimidation tactic to them, which also doesn't make any fucking sense. That'd be like if a criminal told a cop that he's a criminal in order to intimidate the cop. Like, that makes no fucking sense. And then he told me that I look like someone who votes for Biden. I just, like, the amount of stupidity that comes from that is just fucking insane. The guy then spits on my car, like he spits on my like back left door and then goes back into his car probably to make out with his sister in the fucking passenger seat. So it was just like, just the amount of events that happened there was just so fucking insane. And he, you literally got other cars honking at him to shut the fuck up. Like it didn't feel real. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I've never met a person before who is as much of a stereotype as him. Like, this guy was such a white trash stereotype to the point where it was just fucking crazy. Like, it, it was genuinely insane. Just a fun little detail about it, it was that there was a beggar uh, on the side of the road, like, literally six feet away from all of this. Like, he, he was literally, like, in arm's length, damn near. He was given a show. And so, as I'm driving away, the, the homeless guy looks at me and just goes, sorry. The beggar dude had such secondhand embarrassment from the whole thing. Just honest to God, like, how can you get more pathetic than that? You assume someone's political stance, and that alone is enough to be an insult. You you call yourself a racist and like have that be an intimidation thing? I'll have you know I'm homophobic. It's like what? It's like K. <laughs> like you, you want a medal? And then to say that his wife is the one who's gonna do the damage. That dude. That it's like what a fucking cuck, man. I can't even imagine being so pathetic as that little bitch. So fast forward, you know, about like maybe like an hour later, and I take the significant other back to work. Uh, I pass by the same homeless guy again. And uh, just for being a cool lad and, you know, having to go through all the embarrassment and shit, I gave him some change. And as the guy comes up to my car, he's like, dude, I'm so sorry about that asshole earlier. And I'm like, dude, no, it's fucking hilarious, man. And so we just started, like, doing, like, a quick, like, 10-second bond over that dipshit. And it was just, today's been a great day. <laughs> So what came from all this, honest to God, uh, pretty much everybody won except for him. <laughs> because the homeless guy got a bit of bread, I got bread because I'm monetizing this guy's fucking stupid ass. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for the check, fucko. Make sure you share this video with your friends. <laughs> so I just thought that that'd be like a fun, like, little story time, kind of like, take a break from all the Incredible Box and all the gaming videos and just, 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 you know, give you like a nice little story for today. So I'm in the dump right there, so if you enjoy this kind of content, then the buttons are down there, you know what to do, and, uh, have a good one, so goodbye, see ya! <laughs>